Welcome back to Dome Candy Games Random Wad Review, AD edition, as in after Doom. Well, after the release of Doom 2016. I haven't picked it up yet myself, but what did everyone else think of it? Anyway, today's map is a replacement for Doom 2, map 1, released in 2005, and includes a new music track and a new sky texture. It's also a huge wad. Though not the biggest I've ever played, the spire is still absurdly huge. By the way, this was sent to me by a friend of the Facebook page. Thanks for all the suggestions, guys. I'm getting tons of them and way more than I can ever review, but it's been a lot of fun checking them out. So how big is the spire? Well, according to the accompanying text file, it has about 2,400 sectors and about 2,300 monsters on ultraviolence. Yeah, it's one of those. Okay, it's not as over the top and gimmicky as something like nuts.wad, but it does toe that line between reasonable design and insanity. I mean, every corner I turn is another room crammed full of enemies. Waves of enemies, and it's tough. I mean, I only played this on Hurt Me Plenty, but that's still over 1,100 monsters. Now, on the upside, there are some interestingly designed areas and some nice, if sparse, architectural details. In some areas, you'll be able to power your way through on a first try, but in others, you really need to know what you're jumping into in order to survive. Just be prepared with that quick save button. Whereas a map like Impossible was heavy on mind-bending puzzles, this map is obviously very heavy on combat. Now, I'm not a big fan of such combat-soaked maps, at least not when it gets so drawn out and tedious. And the combat here is the primary reason this wad takes over an hour to finish. But compared to some, this at least has some redeeming features and even surprised me a few times, especially with the final boss room, which is pretty epic. So if you're like me and your attitude of more combat does not necessarily equal more fun, then I might suggest using a mod like Brutal Doom with this one. It makes the fights a little less tedious and it keeps you on your toes since a simple screw up can give the enemies an edge. In terms of navigating this massive map, it's still pretty straightforward. Just be vigilant, pay attention to switches, and you should figure it out. I got totally lost for about a half an hour because I missed one tiny little switch that had gotten a bit too much blood on it. As large as the actual area of the map is, the secrets are surprisingly few. Only six in this hour-long trek, but with the sheer amount of baddies here, you'll probably want to do your due diligence in finding them. They can help a lot. It probably also goes without saying that you'll need a limit-removing source port like Z-Doom or the like to play this thing. You'll also need to make sure your source port allows you to fly over monsters since there are a few situations in the WAD I can think of where in order to survive you basically need to crowd surf. And that's all for the Spire. For today's topic of conversation, what do you think makes the right amount of combat in Doom? Where is that sweet spot in classic Doom level design? If you'd like to check out the Spire yourself, the link is in the description. And as always, keep shooting those wad ideas over to me. And thanks as always for watching Dome Candy Games. Because video games are like candy for your dome.